What's up, good people? We're continuing the conversation on the biological basis of behavior. Right now, we'll be discussing the parietal lobes. The parietal lobe is where the primary somatosensory processing takes place. It's a $50 word for sensation, so like pain, touch, temperature, and all that good stuff. Anywhere on the body is processed here. Also, a visual spatial processing takes place. I call this the spa of the brain. It's located posterior to the central sulcus, which is just um, a major fissure or dividing line in the brain and lies in between the frontal and the occipital lobes. The main points we're talking about today is the neuroanatomy or the neuroanatomical structures. Uh, it's a fancy way of saying just shapes in the brain, as well as um, the anterior zone where most of the somatosensory takes place, and then the posterior zone where all the visual spatial uh, processing takes place. So let's break this down like a fraction and put it back together. So let's start with the neural anatomy. Now, as you can see, we'll start with the anterior, which just uh, means more in the front parietal lobes. This is where the somatosensory takes place. Once again, this is signified more by the purple area. Once again, this is a very simplification of what's going on. This process in the brain and all that is very complex. Some major areas is the post central gyrus. As you can see, uh, the superior parietal lobule. Um, the next area is the posterior uh, parietal lobes, which is behind the anterior area. And this is signified more by the uh, the yellow and the pink area. The super uh, marginal gyrus is there and the angular gyrus is just structures that you just want to note. Um, very important point, the heteromodal cortex. These are just different areas in the brain. I believe there's two of them, and one of them are located in this area. And this is just a, a hub where different sensory modalities are integrated. So you'll have emotions, motor, sensory input, uh, visual input all come together and are combined for the human experience. The next point is the somatosensory, which is the interior zone we just discussed. Let's look at it a little deeper. Um, it has somatotopic uh, detection, which takes place, which just means that um, there's points in your body that correspond to specific areas in the central nervous system. So once again, this is where touch, pressure, pain, and temperatures process. Uh, the body regions are represented, proportionally represented by a body, depending on the relative, relative sensitivity. So fingertips probably has more uh, sensitivity, so it's going to take up more area in the brain. But once again, this is where, you know, face, lips, all parts of the body are processed here. Damage to this area, so what they call lesions, is just any damage to the nervous system, which could be a wound, an ulcer, an abscess, or a tumor. Anything like that that happens could result in hemisensory hemis loss, and that's just loss of sensation on one side of the body. The other area of the zone is the posterior zone. Once again, this is the visual spatial zone. This is where processing of visual information. So there's two streams that come out of the occipital lobe and the ventral stream, which is more downward and the dorsal, which is upward. Um, the, the ventral is more vision for perception and the dorsal is vision for action. So in other words, it helps to coordinate movement, the, high, the, the eye hand coordination thing. Uh, the movement and behavior and in the environment. So damage to this area will result in neglect syndrome. Um, hemispatial neglect is the inability to attend to features of the environment in the space contralateral to the lesion site. So in other words, if you get damages in this area, uh, you may not be able to pick up on things in the environment and respond to them uh, accurately. So putting it back together, there's just a neuroanatomy we can see that the parietal lobe is divided into two major areas, the anterior and the posterior zones. Uh, there's a, a heteromodal cortex that takes place that integrates different sensory mo modalities. Uh, there's the anterior zone as well, and this is dedicated to more somatosensory processing, so that touch, pressure, and all that good stuff. And the posterior zone, which is dedicated to visual spatial processing, which helps with coordination and movement. We have our references. Uh, the E triple P fundamental steps and the uh, fundamentals of human neuropsychology. Uh, thanks for listening. Be sure to follow me at skeleton underscore neuro at Twitter, Instagram, as well as TikTok, and subscribe to the skeleton report. 
And then be sure to check out uh, the e-courses I have on Udemy, which will right now they're talking about depression. We have things on motivation and goal setting and the like. So go be sure to check that out. That's all I got. I'll check you out on the next go around and peace.